Good morning. If you're watching this live, it is the morning. If you're not watching this live, I don't know what time it is where you are, but that's part of the appeal of uh, this whole virtual uh, show and our Bullen Broadcast Studio. I'm here with Mark Warner, and it's another another uh, session. Uh, this is our third day we're uh, moving into now. We've uh, just got finished another session earlier, but we have a lot of content coming at you today. Mark, what are we going to talk about today? Today we have a fascinating topic that we're going to be going into, and that's uh, how to deal with large, large areas that have serious odiferous concerns, which is <laughs> a very technical way of saying large area odor control. And we've asked our resident subject matter expert in the area of odor control, Dr. Jack Collins, to help us with this. Dr. Jack. I've taken my uh, Dr. Stink, uh, the odor detective hat off. So thank you very much, Mark. Um, yeah, this is a subject that's uh, very important to me and kind of a self-discovery uh, product, actually. About five years ago, I was in a customer. We can start these slides now. And um, that uh, where where the, the, I was in a school department and the guy, I asked the question, what do you have that smells bad? And he goes, I have the stinkiest locker room I've ever seen. And, and I said, okay, well, let's go see it. So we walked to the far end of this very old school uh, building and uh, walked into what I thought was a warehouse. <laughs> That's how large the room was, but it was lacrosse season in Western New York and it smelled to high heaven. So uh, with all the pads and everything in the locker room, um, I, the only the only vehicle I had to offer them, to be honest with you, was our fresh and air dispenser. And you'll find out more about that. But I wasn't, I actually sent them in a unit to try in a couple of uh, micro cells of RX19E, and it worked amazingly well. I call that my alpha account because that particular uh, sale uh, led to many, many more sales throughout my market at, at similar opportunities, which I'm going to talk about here as we move through these slides. So, what are, what, are we, what are really is the problem? Well, <laughs> the problem is you get a big space and it's and it, you've got an odor in there that is either endemic to the space because of stuff like in a locker room with athletic pads and socks and stuff like that, or something was had happened in there earlier that created the smell. Um, manufacturing operations, uh, I've got it, I've got, you know, apartment buildings, condos, homes, when turnovers happen, they go, go in there and you know, somebody was a smoker, somebody was uh, a Chinese food cooker. Uh, you know, they had a cat that peed all over the floor. Uh, manufacturing operations, they actually have some of these, believe it or not, in fish uh, manufacturing and processing places here in the mar uh, Boston market. Uh, and we actually make a lemon fragrance, believe it or not, with these products that goes quite well for that kind of an operation. Uh, college dorms, restaurants, uh, previous to all of these other things I just talked about, probably the only place that I actually placed it and had people using it for this was in long-term care hospitals for uh, incontinent care patients uh, and uh, patients undergoing chemo treatments, which anybody sadly has had to deal with that, they understand what that smell can be like. So if we move into the next slide, we'll talk a little bit about what we do to fix it. And it really is an <laughs> It's an easy solution. I've had people call it magic, how well it does work. Um, but it, we have the black, we call it the black box. A lot of my, my distributor sales reps do. You have some photographs there about the inside and outside. And all we do is put some of our RX19E microcells, you know, anywhere from one, it'll hold up as many as five of these. They'll last anywhere from you know, it depends how often you keep it plugged in, but if you have it on 24 hours a day, you're probably going to get about uh, close to 30 days out of it, um, and it works amazingly well. So let's talk a little bit about what it actually is doing. So, so basically, that is basically an electric fan in a box that we install the microcells in, and it blows air across those microcells, distributing the aeroside product into the room. And as I just said, like magic, I've seen it happen. I've actually deodorized a hockey size lock, hockey team locker room in literally 30 seconds where you couldn't smell the skates, the hockey pads or anything any, any longer. Um, 
Now the RX 19E is important to talk about because it's a solid medium. It's not a liquid, all right? The air blowing across, it blows the, uh, the, the, the product out into the air, uh, out into the room, excuse me, and in a very large space. Uh, I've, I've done large restaurant conversions, whole homes with just one dispenser, um, very large locker rooms, and very, very successful. And obviously how large the locker room is determines how long it takes to totally get the effect, but works amazingly well with any source of odor as you look at, I mean, you know, fish, fish processing plants to smelly socks. I mean, it'll work with how any, any bad odor. So if we go into what the real benefits are here for the customers, you're gonna end up with truly a sweet smelling locker room. Unless you stick your nose right up to the locker room, locker door, you're not gonna smell the socks and it's surely not gonna waft down the hallway, which I find a lot of people, that's their biggest need is to get the smell out of the hallways, the lobbies, the gymnasiums that tend to, tend to move. And I've, I've experienced this myself, it's not pleasant. So re, it, re, it will remove the cooking and pet odors or even if, the, you know, another common application, which I don't comment too much on this presentation is, is if you, uh, you had a fire in your house or a small little fire, you had some smoke uh, you know, in the house and it'll get rid of those smoke odors literally in a couple hours so works amazingly well for that um i have had nursing homes using it to uh, deal with incontinent patients and make sure that the, the smells from that patient aren't going to walk down the hallway um and, uh, and the manufacturing odors i just talked about just go away so uh let's move on and i want to introduce now uh I, I'm one of my customers who has many of these units throughout his school district there in the buffalo new york area so uh, cue up Charlie Milne. So uh, this is Jack Collins uh, with the Bullen Companies. And uh, in front of me here is Charlie Milne, who is the facilities director at the Mary Vale uh, USUFSD in the Buffalo area of New York. Is that correct, Charlie? Cheektowaga, Maryvale, Union Free School District. So, uh, so Charlie, um, I want to I wanted to let everybody know that you just had knee replacement surgery, and you are still in the hospital. Correct. Yeah, both so, knees. <laughs> so, so I want to thank you for uh, participating here today. We are here to talk to you about your use of our Russian Air dispensers, and uh, you're one of our larger users of it and the uh, RX-19E um, microcells. So can you talk a little bit about how long you've been using that product and what you basically use it for? Um, uh, just just about a year now. Uh, October of last year, we, we purchased them, I believe, and we've been using them in our crawl spaces and more importantly, the locker rooms. The, this product destroys the odor in the locker rooms it's amazing and uh, it just eats it up and we don't have to actually keep them running 24 seven. After the first couple of days, it knocks the odor down and keeps it down. And we just, we move them around and, and touch them up, go back in the areas, especially the, the football equipment. And, and uh, that, that room is just atrocious as you all know, in the wrestling room. It's, so, so one of the things that uh, I find with other schools that are using it for that locker room application, it's a very popular use for it, um, is that the, the, that the keeps the odor, you know, if, even if there, even if it just cuts it down and doesn't eliminate it hundred percent, cause it's kind of hard to eliminate it hundred percent, but it keeps the odors from going away from the locker room, down the hallways, into a, a lobby or, or even into a gymnasium. Is that, is that, have you found that also? Oh, ab absolutely. It, it, it keeps it from traveling down the hallways and trying to sneak on down the whole rest of the school. Can you talk about your use of the product for, uh, you mentioned you're using it in crawl space applications. Give us an example of when you do that. Yeah, well, like most school districts, we've gone away from steam and the steam used to go in steam tunnels and keep these little crawl spaces with dirt floors dry and arid. Well, that isn't the case anymore with hot water systems. 
So the, the, they're kind of moist and, and just dank, just, and we, we throw them in there. It, it circulates the air, keeps it from getting, getting bad and nasty. It just, uh, so it is, just it, is it an as need application or, uh, or do yeah, you we, we, okay. we try to, you know, cause we still got to be, uh, fiscally responsible. We can't, you know, if we, <laughs> We had pallets of this stuff, and, you know. We would we would we would just run them twenty four seven. But sure. we really don't need to. It it the product's so good. It it bites into the 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 odor causing elements and bonds to them and seems to break them down. So Charlie, how many of the my, I'm opening one up here. Um, how many of the microcells do you put in uh, the dispensers when you're using them? Anywhere from one to four. It depends where, you know, like when we first, we like, like the, like the gym locker room when they, the, or the football locker room, when they first start with the equipment and it's really bad, we'll, we'll throw four in there and, and, and start biting it up and then, you know, knocking it down. Have and, you had any problems with, uh, you know, vandalism of the dispensers by student athletes or uh, when you have them in there? No, no, they, they actually love them because they don't like the stink of themselves anyhow. So they leave them alone. Uh, we, uh, we, there's generally an outlet by the clock because the clock plugs into it. So that's where we've been plugging them in because there's not very many outlets in a locker room. Yes, and we right. just take a, we just take a little carabiner and clip it to the cage of the clock and hang it off its handle. And it, it lets the air come, come through the unit, pushes it around. It, it seemed to work really well that way. And you, have, it's in, uh, the subject of this uh, this presentation here are, is a uh, large area. So how large are the locker room that you're using the unit in? Uh, I don't know, standard high school locker rooms. They're good they're size. Big. They're not, uh, they're not little, they're not little broom closets, no, no, okay. you know? And then, uh, and then down in the, the crawl spaces are, you know, we've got hundreds of feet of tunnels. Wow. You know, so. There and they're not areas? all there. There's problem areas that are, that are wetter than others that we just leave one go, you know, yeah. are there any other applications that you use the fresh and air uh, units for? Not, not that, but the, the small bathroom ones, we've, we've okay. got a so few of them in the bathroom with the other Sentinel dispensers. Right. Yeah. The same thing. And those, those work really good. They, you get like 40 days out of a single pad on that. I think that's about right yeah. around in there. Good for you. Good for you. So. Well, yeah. well, Charlie, I'm going to, uh, I really appreciate your input on the use of this product because uh, I have a lot of success and you, you're having success with it. And, uh, and I hope, uh, I wish you the best with the recovery. Your oh, well, thank you. All right, buddy. Take care. All right. See you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Jack. Bye now. Bye. So I want to thank Charlie, uh, considering his uh, hospitalization there at the rehab as he recovers from his uh, knee surgery. I'm, uh, I want to just add that if you need additional information on these products, please reach out to myself or the Bullen sales line because we've had a lot of success. I personally have had a lot of success with this product from, again, large operations to small operations, but surely large spaces. And uh, if you've got a bad stink in a small, large space, please reach out to the Bullen companies and Airx laboratories. Thanks for your time today, everybody. And uh, 